This show is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. Seven. Put your headset on. Hurt. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Tom Chanel. This is the Tom Chanel Show. <laughs> but we are live from a crazy soccer studio. In, I mean, this is like a stadium here in Longmont, Colorado, in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, it's called the Budweiser Event Center. And uh, we are doing a show here live, and I am pumped up about it. We've got a great show for you today. How are you, Marianne? I'm good. I'm good. We are, we're just, um, it is like 90 degrees in here. Yeah, it's pretty warm, man. It's, it's pretty warm. Yeah, they, got, they didn't have the air conditioning on because nobody's playing. But we wanted to do the show live. I found some people that so inspire me, and I am so a sucker for a great story. And as you know, this is the home-based business show that was renamed the Tom Chenault Show just because of Doug Firebaugh. And uh, what he did is he named his show the he – just he named – Show, but it's all oh, this show is all about home based business and taking extraordinary people, putting the spotlight, spotlight on them so people can see that literally anybody can build a life of their dreams. And I've got a woman today named Lisa Chelius, and this woman is unbelievable for so many reasons. She's built a dynasty at a network marketing company, and she did that inside of being shy. And she, her whole story is how shy she is. I don't believe a word of it because I just I can't believe how strong a speaker is. Everybody loves her. Lisa, how are you? I am so great, and I am shy. I know that. <laughs> so talk to me about Ohio. You come from Ohio. From Pennsylvania. Pens- Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, okay, good. And tell me your story. What's the, tell me a little bit about you. How did you get in this business? What did you do before it? I was an accountant and a programmer for 21 years in corporate America. That's what I did. Yep. Yep. And so there came a point in time where my my oldest child was was aging out of daycare, and Jeff and I had a chat and decided we did not want our kids coming home to an empty home. You know, I worked that whole time when they were little, and what we found is our kids needed us more when they were older than than when they were little. So um, we made a decision. We took a huge leap of faith. We gave up my career. I went home, had no idea what I would do. I thought maybe work at Talbot's, get some discounts on clothes, something like that, and I ended up going to a party, and then that changed my life forever, and I never looked back how long ago was it oh my goodness was that 13 14 years ago 14 years ago in your wildest dreams would you have ever imagined yourself in that business prior to that home party never 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 and I will share with you uh, being in finance I will just say I was a kidnapper. I know that that shocks most everyone. That kit was 60% off, and I thought, goodness, I need everything in that kit. I had a place in my heart and my home for all of those pieces, and then they said, gosh, you know, what a good deal. I came home, told Jeff what I did, and he said, when's your first party? Well, you know what? He was awesome, Uh, very uh, inspirational, twisting my arm, telling me, pick a date, pick a party, you're paying off your kit. Wow. That's how I got started, really. And your husband's a uh, a chief financial officer. He is. Still. He is. In a big-time job. And how Jeff, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great, Tom. Thanks. So tell me about you. So you were supporting her every inch of the way. You were an Amway guy many years ago. Many years ago, yes. And uh, direct sales is in my blood. I uh, totally believe in the, in the business model. It works. Um, and I just love Lisa. She does a great job. She loves a lot of people, and that's, that's really what she's all about. When I talked last night, and I was talking about being an introvert and you being an introvert, and I made a, I made a comment about... Th- something that was ridiculous and you literally stopped in your tracks and you said you know what tom that's just not true i love people so much and i care about these people so much almost to a fault did you say that do you remember that last night? I am not sure that I remember that, but yeah. So that's <laughs> who you are, though, right? To a fault. These these people are my people, and my, my I I can share. 
Jeff and I have had extraordinary success. We have had huge leaders, amazing, amazing women and men that I get to partner with, and, and I am so blessed for that. And um, my work really is not necessarily financial. It is meet me in Paris on Friday. In other words, I want every one of the men and women that I have the honor to work with to be financially secure and ha have own their time such that I can call them on a dime and tell them meet me in Paris on Friday. How many people do you know in corporate America that could even have that thought of There's nobody. You either, right, Jeff? No. And so, so that's your mantra. Yes. Yeah, and that is a great comment to make to somebody. Adler at send out cards, and he's rents. And I used to look at that and go, "How do I get on that jet with Jordan Adler?" And at the end of the day, I needed to know Jordan, and B, I needed to have the money. The same deal as you're as you're talking about, and your goal is to create lives where they got that cool. So, what's your day look like? What do you do on a daily basis to drive your business? Are you still out there recruiting and doing that I stuff? Am. You I are am. absolutely. I love it. I love it. You know, this is part of my social life. I love getting out there, doing socials, doing events. Jeff uh, comes along. He does events. He's now promoting uh, some of the other products that we're so blessed to be able to promote with in our new structure, mm -hmm. and that's exciting, and um, yeah, I love it. I love getting out. I want to set the example. If I can do it, they can do it. Right? So where do you see this profession headed? I mean, you've obviously have been at the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've been working with you for a few months here. I've never seen anything like you, to be honest with you. I've just dedicated, loved by everybody. Where do you see the future of this profession? Do you see it just going crazy and that's expanding worldwide and you just being in the middle of that? I do. I loved uh, Denise spoke today and Denise shared that um, more and more and more people are turning to direct sales. And that is so true. This is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. It, it offers people, like we had talked about, financial freedom, time freedom. You know, right now we're working line that offers people health as well. Mm -hmm. and what a blessing that is. You know, um, my side of the fence has always been product. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, women's products and now to be able to offer health as well, that's just, you, that's just priceless. It's just game it really on, game on it for is. you because it doubled your, really doubled your market because you it were doubled, able to. It doubled our market. But I said, you know what is so beautiful is when you see someone shy like me or shy like the many, many, many women that I worked with and you watch them blossom over time into these leaders extraordinary extraordinary leaders and you just think to yourself gosh you know what I am so blessed to be a part of this I I love watching my uh, business partners walk across that stage in recognition of their their accomplishments it is and I'm standing on the other side waiting for them with a great big hug you know and it, there's just nothing better and what I said when we became part of this bigger company this bigger opportunity I thought oh my gosh this is bigger this is how some helping someone with their health is bigger it's bigger what's beautiful about that and you know I know that you've got hit that tipping point with your income where you've got more money than you have month. And people ask me all the time, what's important to me? And I tell them a long time ago, the money isn't a factor anymore. It is the difference you get to make with other human beings. And that's, yeah. that's, that's what totally vibrates you. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So as, as, you, as, you, as you take this thing farther down the road, what responsibility? I mean, I, I'm a member of the Association of Network Marketing Professionals. I'm a member of the, something called the MLMIA. I mean, don't you think that we have to continue to protect the profession and all of us need to lock arms and make it even bigger and better? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's a yep. critical thing. And Eric Worre, I don't know if you know about that big event that he's got going on. I think it's in November. But, you know, as an industry, we have got responsibility to show people there's integrity within and as an ex-accountant you've got that voice I mean people believe you they believe Jeff and you can you can be 
a force to be dealt with across the profession if you'll just let those little wings of yours fly a little bit. You know what I mean? Yes. Scare the heck out of you? <laughs> I do believe very much in divine intervention. You talked about it earlier today. Yeah. And truly believe God has a plan and it's going to be huge. I, too, have a... Um, uh, gosh, a heart for single single moms and kids of single moms. And I can't wait to talk to Denise about that because I know God has something on my heart. I just don't know what it is. And I know there's a huge legacy that I can leave uh, this world. Noah talked the other day about leaving this world a better place than, than you know, when with the people that you're interacting with. And I want to do that. I want to leave a legacy. This it's, is the second half of my life, and I want to make it count, right? Yeah. And the, the cool thing about that, well, you're going to be to live to be 150, so I think you're, <laughs> I don't think you're 75 yet, so I'm not going to give you the half necessarily. But isn't it beautiful to know that you can take another human being that is like upside down, as shy as you were, upside down on money, maybe a single mom, and give that woman real hope instead of a pipe dream? Absolutely. Yes. And, and be the example for that woman too. Yeah, to look at you and say, I did it. Yes. And don't you think that your shyness, which I totally believe, by the way, don't you believe that your shyness has become more of an asset than it was a detriment? Because you can say, if I'm this shy and I can do this, you can, right? Yes, absolutely. And that's mm-hmm. yeah, that's got to be that's got to be a strong, strong thing for you. What do you say, Marianne? You like her? I love her, and you know I read your bio and what have you when I was getting you ready for the show, and and um, I, I love the the idea of really um, this is your second half, right? That you really exactly. want to do something purposeful, and I felt the same way. I, you know, came from the corporate world, and I was just like, you know, just not there's just not it's just something not feeling. Missing. Yeah, something there's something missing. is missing, and and now I you know feel like I can make a difference in somebody's life every day. Every day. And uh, so I love that about you and what's your what's your mission and i love your jewelry i got my oh thank you <laughs> yeah that's that's that's, that's another yeah. crazy deal yeah i'm trying not to talk product oh, here sorry, Marianne, sorry, so sorry. she did a great I was, job i was trying to be ever so careful yeah thank you for mentioning you're, that you're yeah. Doing a, yeah so and the, you know the, the thing about this show is i don't want it to turn into an infomercial for exactly. any one company mm-hmm. it's about you as a human being you have accomplished so much you've given so much back you've made the planet a better place so how do you train the people that you've got i mean are you you bring them in how do you move them along what's your goal there when we were talking earlier about a couple of things that have occurred in your life over the last few weeks we're going to talk about that right after the break i don't have the right kind of clock here now i do there but uh at the end of the day we're going to come back and just talk about how you train and develop people but i want people to know this about lisa I when I talked to her last night, she was she's had a couple of things, a couple of hiccups, but it made her much stronger. She didn't give up. She said, "We've just begun, Tom." That's very very cool. We'll be back right after this. Stick around. Are you worried about how dangerous the world has become? In these days of terrorist attacks, natural disasters, or even a future collapse, you need to be medically prepared to keep your family safe. I'm Joe Alton, MD of store.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find an entire line of uniquely designed medical kits and supplies for when help is not on the way. For everything from individual first aid kits to the ultimate family medical bag, go to store.doomandbloom.net today. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did. My computer is so slow, it's making me crazy. I used to have that problem. Did you quit using the computer, or, or did you buy a new one? No, I called Geeks on Site. They made an appointment to visit my home and showed up the same day. You mean they didn't ask you to bring your computer to a shop? That's what happened when I called a support company. Geeks on Site can go to your home or business or even repair your computer online. They have 24-7 emergency service. If you are having problems with your PC or Mac, call Geeks on Site. 1-800-591-1682. Our friendly certified computer repair experts are available 24-7. Call now for a free diagnosis, 1-800-591-1682. Data recovery, virus removal, and maintenance for all laptops, desktops, printers, and networks. That's Geeks on Site for friendly certified computer repair experts, available 24-7 over the phone or in your home or business. Just call 1-800-591-1682. That's 1-800-591-1682. 1-800-591-1682. 
As a doctor, I see patients every day who are losing their vision to age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD. If you have blurry vision or blind spots, they can be symptoms of AMD, and if untreated, could lead to blindness. The good news? AMD can be managed with effective clinically approved treatments that may reverse some vision loss. For free AMD information, contact the Foundation Fighting Blindness at 1-800-BLINDNESS. That's 1-800-BLINDNESS. There is a cure in sight. There is an affordable alternative to the high cost of health care that offers freedom from insurance while providing compliance with the Obamacare mandate. Imagine having access to quality, affordable health care that allows you the freedom to choose your doctor and hospital. Members can share up to 100% of necessary medical expenses, including alternative treatments. Find out how you and your family can contain health care costs without giving up your freedom. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. The following is an incredible, life-changing, free offer for anyone with hearing problems who wants to start hearing everything more clearly again. We're now offering free in-home trials of a revolutionary hearing breakthrough called Listen Clear to anyone who calls this special toll-free number now. 1-800-957-9364. Call in the next 10 minutes, and you'll also qualify for free shipping and free batteries for life. ListenClear is precisely designed by top audio engineers. It adjusts to let you find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And ListenClear is so invisible, people may not even know you're wearing it. And it's so lightweight, you may even forget you're wearing it too. Don't miss this special life-changing opportunity to hear everything more clearly again for free with a 100% free in-home trial, free shipping, and even free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-957-9364. That's 1-800-957-9364. 1-800-957-9364. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists, get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at Slingbow.com. All right, we're back. It's Tom Chanel. This is the Tom Chanel Show. We've got Marianne Niehaus here. Can't believe I got her finally woken up. That's good, Marianne. How are you, baby? <laughs> what have you been doing, huh? Well, I, you know, it was a busy week. It was a lot of fun, though. We we've got some new stuff going on. We've got that Zoom and that's, yeah, that's we might. We're going to figure out a way to maybe even have Zoom. We've got a room for 500 people to watch us on screen now on Zoom, along with broadcasting. So we're going to try to figure out a way to mer- maybe even marry that. Yeah, we might be with this radio show. So we're very excited about that. We took that Zoom on pretty hard. But, you know, the world of communication, whether it's very, whether it be radio or anything, you have to have human interaction. Yeah. I and agree. you have to build relationships, which is what you're very good at. What Lisa's done has just absolutely trumped everybody because she's built a giant organization. How did you find your leaders in the first place? You know what? It's all about marketing at this point. Social media is huge. And yeah. people found me. Really? You know, and um, over and over again, you know, I... I, I listened to what they needed mm-hmm. and um, cared about them, and they chose to join me in this journey. And so what happens now? You get these people, yeah. and you empower them. That was the yeah. word that you said. What yeah. does that mean? Well, that's a kind of a nebulous word to a guy that was, has a four-letter you know, like four letter alpha <laughs> vocabulary. That means, um, gosh, you know, training them up to be leaders. Then handing over the baton. Yeah. You know, I'm here whenever they need me. We we work. We're more business partners now. We we strategize, uh, and that's exciting. And we're building businesses together, and that's really something else. That's just you know you're in your zone when you're doing that with your business leaders. And you've got a big group in Puerto Rico, and you've got a big group amazing, in Mexico. Amazing, amazing leaders in Puerto Rico and Mexico. So blessed. So blessed. And really. that all became in Canada. 
Canada. And Great Britain. And Great Britain. Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah. And you just drive it. I mean, you are. You get up. Do you do scheduled webinars and conference calls? How's we, that all look? We do uh, scheduled. It's it's about having um, business processes in place, mm-hmm. systems in place that allow for duplication. Yeah. So uh, we have our opportunity calls. We have our our training calls. We have new uh, new distributor calls, etc. New training calls. So we have our processes in place, and we just follow along, and uh, it's all about duplication. Like I said, I hand over that baton, and then my leaders are bringing their teams, their leaders, the very same. And so would you say you're more heart-driven or head-driven? Well, you know what? I'm going to say both. I think you are, it's too. probably about 50-50. I'm very emotional. But you know what? I'm a type personnel, accountant and programmer. Yeah. You know, get it done. Get these tasks done. I'm very task-oriented, but with heart. Well, that's very so. cool. So, you, so do most people want to be led, or do they want to be empowered, do you think? It's funny because when you bring people in, sometimes I can tell right off the bat. I have, I've, I've talked to women. And they say, you know, I'm just going to dabble. And I get off the phone. I say to Jeff, oh, my word, she's a superstar. You know, you just know when you're talking to someone sometimes. And, and sometimes you're wrong. Mm-hmm. But um, you, you just love on everyone and love on them some more, right? right? And you build them up and you tell them, you know, you're their believer. You believe in them first. You make them aware, gosh, this is what I see in you. You're amazing. Did you know that? Do you know what you can accomplish with this? And then you build up that confidence in them, and all of a sudden, they're believing that too. Do you believe that literally anybody with desire you can help out? I can help anyone with desire, yes. Absolutely. And that's really one of the main main key ingredients, desire. You can have all of the head knowledge in the world, but if you don't have that desire... You, you, you don't. You're not going to go anywhere with it. Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent And is it? You know, I don't. I'm not in love with the numbers game. I, you know, I, I, I'm always in action. But I don't. I believe you find those strong people. You put a laser beam on them. You have a powerful conversation about becoming a partner of yours. And you can't do that with 55 people. You can do it with four or five at a time where you are really, really committed. Do you agree with that, or do you think you just throw it against the wall? and hope something sticks. Oh, we don't throw anything against the wall. However, you know, Wednesdays are my one-on-ones. And so I'll do, like, you're taking walks every day and talking to your leaders from 7 in the morning until about 7 at night. I'm on the phone with my leaders 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and, and, and also my emerging leaders, new artists. So, you know, I have the ability. And you know what? On Wednesdays, guess who, get, guess who wins? I do. Because we start with an idea in the morning, and that idea by the end of the day after talking with these brilliant women, mostly women, uh, by the end of the day, we have we have something solid that we can put into action. It's pretty amazing. Well, you, for a shy woman, never stopped talking. <laughs> you are a great girl, and we love you with all of our heart. We love Jeff. We love you for supporting her so much. I just put her email up. If you want to talk to her, she will recruit you. She'll counsel you at lisachilius at comcast.net. It's right there on Facebook, but whatever you do, everybody, stick around. We're going to come back with Noah Siegman right after this. Very exciting. 